What's your top battle? I heard he got 30K for the rock battle. I done got paid twice that to not battle. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Right. That's why I said, all right, I'm, let me, now I'm definitely going to talk about this. Um, I was leaving it alone. But that phone call this morning at 7.32 a.m. from Hollow to Don himself is what's making me say, okay, different ball game now. Because now it's like confirmed of what we all know. Like you watch Vodafly's blog and he says sarcastic, like he's joking. Because we all we know how this, this culture is and we know how these people work, right? So Vodafly's in there. He don't got the facts. And he didn't get the phone call from Hollow like I did. But, you know, he's joking in there like, you know, he got that phone call and it's like, yo, holler you. But, you know, if you're going to get a bag over here, you better go tweet this or whatever. You know what I'm saying? People already. It's like you can't expect everybody to be that stupid. So everybody already knows what's up. But this morning. Elevated it for me. This elevated it for me. It changed the ball game. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification game, et cetera, et cetera. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. RiceGameClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Well, well, well. We have to speak. I got a couple things I need to talk about today. Obviously, ARP went live. I did watch it. I do have some thoughts. I have some things to say. I heard my name mentioned in it. And it is what it is. Shout out to uh, everything that Red Breed Entertainment is doing. And here's the thing, right? Uh, this is about this whole hollow lie, you know what I'm saying? Hollow got caught up in this lie, and now it's looking like URL actually sent him on a dummy mission to crash out lying about getting paid <laughs> to not battle. See, I said yesterday, Hollow the Don said in his own battle, <laughs> 15, I heard he got paid 30K for twerk, that's your top battle. I got paid double that to not battle. I'm thinking to myself, you all don't know that he battled, he said this shit on their Summer Madness, on their stage. I mean, I know Summer Madness wasn't that good, but I still remember that Hollow said that shit. That's the thing that bugs me out. Again, I said, I know it wasn't that good. It was not that good, but he still said that shit. <laughs> so, this is three years after the tweet that he made where he said and i you know what i'm saying i can, I can read it back for y'all because there's some people who's gonna come in here and that's gonna read this that ain't that don't got the backstory you know what i'm saying so i get a backstory too where he made the infamous tweet a couple years ago where he was saying that uh tag a battle rapper that was cooking in 2019 that deserved this 52,000. this is before caffeine so when they tell you we don't have it it really means you're not worth it they paid me 26,000 not to battle murder mook on rbe just to let the battle sit they got 26,000 to block a battle. This is what Hollow said out of his mouth. That's what I couldn't understand. Why you let them make a call to you to tell you to say some shit knowing what was going to come. And you know why I know it was some bullshit and it was a lie? Because I went to go see today. Did Hollow stand on that tweet? No, the shit is deleted. Nigga! Deleted the tweet. Where... <laughs> And Hollow's my man, but the thing is, this is the news. Nobody gives a fuck. I'm gonna tell you the news, just how it goes. It is what it is. I have no cut on this product. I don't. I don't care about no league. I don't care about no artists. I just was with Remy and them the other week when the news came out. I had to talk about it. I don't give a fuck what league it is, and that's the reason why we are where we're at because there's no cut on the product. If ARP know if he have a bad event, he do something. I'm on them too. I don't care. It's the Justice League. I'm on them. Whoever. It don't matter. Y'all know we was up they tree yesterday. Whoever, whatever, it's battle rap. But I know there's some niggas, you know what I'm saying, that got, you know, URL capes on and shit, so they not gonna talk about this. I don't got no cut on my product, they don't fuck with me, I really don't care, so I do what I do. You drop battles, I recap them. If you don't drop battles, we don't recap them. I still got the app, that's where I saw the hollow joint. I still got the app, so that's where I saw the bar at. That's where you released it, right? Oh, okay, it was wild, it was out, we kept the files. So let's get into it, right? So it comes out <laughs> that at 7.32 this morning, Hollow the Don places a call to ARP. Why is he calling him at 7.30 in the morning if this is not true, if he was never paid to not battle on a platform before? 
Hmm. Now, a lot of the niggas, like the street niggas and the niggas in the barbershops and a lot of real niggas, they know that this shit's been going on for years. They know niggas been blocking battles. They know Suge got blocked from Pat Stay. Verb got blocked from Iron Solomon by giving them fucking uh, loaded lugs. They know, uh, what else? What else? How, many, how many other times this shit that happened? Oops and the JC shit, the O'Reilly. There's so many battles. That's what they do. But RBE doesn't matter, but it matters enough to pay niggas to not battle there. This shit looks crazy. Then K Shine comes out. And he says that he was paid 15000 to not take a battle over there, right? So when Sean says that, these little channels right here, they don't be worried about these channels. These little My Channel and niggas like this, 15000 20000 views. They ain't worried. This is nothing. They could do this all day. Oh, well, they don't care, right? But when a math Hoffa is interviewing... Nothing. But now you saying that's something that you want to oh, give us our money. What money, nigga? Yeah, I seen you and Smack had a little What exchange. money, nigga? I look oh. pussy, bro. Stop playing with me, bro. Yeah, I seen. The fuck yeah. is you talking yeah, about? I had a Smack? little exchange on this interview in K Shine, and he has a million subscribers. It's a totally different ball game. You know what I'm saying? Like they know that different outlets, different platforms, different media, different folks, and all kind of different circuits are going to see this. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm going to Math Hoffa's channel right now. Salute to him and everything that he's got going on. But he. Did an interview with Sean. I mean, he's releasing it in a bunch of parts. Uh, he's got uh, 88,000, 62,000, 30,000, 76,000, and he just released one uh, an hour ago, and it's got almost 7,000. So, math shit be viral. Like, they they gotta try to do something to truncate what math got going on. Because us little channel, they don't care. We could talk about this shit all day. But, like I said, math is gonna drop about 25 different little snippets of it. Then he gonna drop the whole thing. So they had to get out in front of it. These, I said it on my joint yesterday, that they call this nigga like, you know what I'm saying? Like they put that call in, nigga, you better make that motherfucker tweet right now. I'm gonna stay on the phone until you done. When you press send, yeah, I know it take a little while. You gotta wait for the little green shit to go around. It's sent, it's sent. All right, my nigga, you, you, everything was in jeopardy, shun. Click, hung up the phone on him. Hollow got that call. He got that call. Hollow the lawn chair. That's my man, but they made you fold. They made you fold. Niggas made you lie, and now you got to be the one that's got to deal with that shit in your next battles and all. They don't even care. They, they, they don't even be caring when they send y'all out on dummy missions to crash and ruin your own brand. They don't give a fuck. They will let you go do that shit. Now, what they going to do? Are they going to lie and say that you didn't call ARP? I know you did. I know, because I got called and told that this happened. MCs, this is the shit. Like, this is what I'm talking about. They literally paid this nigga to not battle on Rare Breed. Then when Shine and the MEO situation like started to, started to bubble, they called this nigga and told him to tweet this. What did he say? Because when I saw it, I knew it was bullshit already. You know what I'm saying? Because I saw, I did the blog. We did 45,000 views. So I knew that this, had, this, this shit was already, it was in the, it was in the happening. So uh, what did he say? <laughs> this nigga Hollow said, uh, he said, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I got it in my tweets and in my, my, my phone and shit. He was saying some shit about, uh, because Piper Boy had made the tweet. When Piper Boy made the tweet, he was like, I said one battle got blocked. I was never told, I was not told not to battle on RBE. I was never told that. Let me know where I'm wrong at. Nigga, you wrong because you know you was told not to battle on RBE. I can't believe they sent you out here to do this shit. Uh, because ARP had tweeted, damn hollow, not you too. You just battle versus Ill Will in February on Rare Breed Entertainment. Now you coming back around. Because why would you... The thing is, this this is how everybody knew, my nigga. We all knew you was told to do that. Because why would you wake up on a random Monday, Tuesday and just tweet that you was never told not to battle, you was never paid not to battle somewhere? And then they write under your tweet right after. It was like, auto-reply. Thank you for clarifying that. You didn't clarify anything. You didn't clarify anything. Because the man just... So is he lying on... Listen, hold on. Is Hollow lying when he made the tweet in 2000, when he made the post in 2019? Is he lying when he battled against New Jersey Twerk when he said he got paid 26 double that to not battle? Or is he lying now when he defended y'all in the tweet? Because one of, it's two lies and one truth. There's two lies. There are two lies here and one truth. And if you ask me what the two lies, well, it's actually all three is a lie. It's a lie because I know he got paid to not battle Mook. It's a lie because he came out yesterday and said he was never not paid to battle. And it's a lie because they came out and tweeted, thank you for clarifying nobody was never got paid to. These niggas is all liars. They lying left, they lying right. How can we believe these niggas? Throw some water on these niggas.
These niggas is fucking lying. They lying, bro. These niggas is lying. They might be wide. They might be. These niggas is lying. They fucking lying, bro. That's the thing, and they do this shit, and you know they got compromise. They got a lot of compromised niggas around there who ain't never gonna say nothing about it, cause you know they niggas need tickets and shit. They wanna get in and shit. They wanna still be, you know what I'm saying, accepted and all of that. So they gotta lie. <laughs> but when the shit is funny, because it's like, bro, this is you think hollow. We didn't you we we didn't watch you battle on Summer Madness. Like I said, I know it was forgettable, but we still saw it, my nigga. So. And I know who calls you. <laughs> I ain't gonna say niggas. I ain't gonna call our niggas names and shit. But I don't be knowing what these niggas be thinking. And I talk to them niggas over there every now and then. They don't want me to say I talk to them and shit like that, which is cool. But when I talk to these niggas, they be acting like, nah, we never did no dirt to nobody. We don't do no dirt. And the whole time I'm sitting there listening, like, I can tell you 15 instances where you niggas did somebody dirty. But the thing is, I feel like URL is about battle rap as long as they're the reason why. As long as they're the reason why battle rap is popping or they're the reason why battle rap is successful, they'll be for battle rap. But once they're not the reason, like this whole fucking year has been, let's just be honest, them niggas ain't got a top three event this year. They don't. They do not. They don't have a top three event this year. They may not have a top five. This year, they probably don't. If I stop me when I'm lying. They ain't got shit better than Divide and Conquer 1, they ain't got shit better than Divide and Conquer 2, and they ain't got shit better than Max Out, and they ain't got shit better than the Easy Card when he battled uh, Hitman. That's four joints I could keep on going. Nothing. See, y'all gotta lie for them, because y'all need favors. I'm on TV and I don't have to lie for none of these niggas. I don't need no favor from them. I've showed y'all the last five years, I don't need shit from them. So I can say what I'm gonna say. I'm gonna call it like I call it so I can't spoil it because I don't need nothing from these niggas. They don't need to call me, they don't need to invite me, they don't do nothing for me. Just drop some battles, we'll recap it, and that's the end of it. And the thing is, with niggas that do shit like that, why do, why do, why, who wants to be around that? Nobody wants to be around that type of shit. And the artists they call, they say what's going on. I know what Danny's situation was when he was doing the trenches shit and they called him and told him his battle versus hustle was about to not be, his battle with the two on two wasn't happening and everything that he had going on wasn't happening simply because he wanted to battle Rosenberg Raw on a trenches card. So I've been seeing this shit like from down the street. They know that they got caught in the line. Period. They know. They know that. Now, will they address it? Probably not. Just be quiet, silent. You got an event next week. Throw your event. Hopefully it goes well and then life will go on. But in the back of the minds of most of the niggas that really know y'all niggas did some fuck shit by getting Hollow to lie because now Hollow's gonna throw his name. He's like, oh, I don't want nothing to do with this and yada, yada, yada. You got yourself in it. You got yourself in it. You could have easily told them, no, I'm not doing it. That's what you could have said, but you got to work where your butt is bread, where your bread is buttered. You got a phone call niggas told you, I know you did not want to tweet that. Because you knew niggas was going to break down every line that you sketched about. They was going to pull the tweets. They was going to pull your shit for 2019. You had to know that that was coming. So, there you stand. Uh, ARP, yeah, he had mentioned a lot, you know what I'm saying, in the blog. And I know for a fact that originally he didn't want to blog on the situation. Because I spoke to him real quick when the shit first happened. When the whole shit started coming out. And he wasn't going to blog on it. But then you called him at 7, <laughs> 7 o'clock in the morning. Bro, I was in the gym at 7 o'clock in the morning. I get there about 5, I leave about 7, 7.30. You calling him at 7.30, early work, to try to get in front of this or to try to apologize for telling a lie. The truth sound like hate to niggas who hate the truth. Hollow the Don is a nigga who I fuck with. He does good, he has good battles, he has good you know what I'm saying? He's been able to brand, to merchandise, to work his shit. You know what I'm saying? I, like I said, I learned a lot from him when it came to branding and marketing and merchandise. I've seen him sell clothes. I've seen him at events. So I don't got no issue with him personally. I'm just saying that he took a bad deal to help them niggas out who was not going to help him if the shoe was on the other foot. They was not. <laughs> they wasn't coming to get you, bro. <laughs> Hands up. <laughs> I'm free. They was Hollow is glad to see you make it. It's just too sad you won't make it. Well, well, well. Hollow got two L's in it, too. I get you this one and a fixed one. But, yeah, you shouldn't have let them niggas do you like that. You should have told them niggas, I'm not tweeting that shit. You should have told them I'm not going to do it. And take what comes with it. Because at the end of the day, you going out as a real nigga saying, yo, I'm not tweeting that. Just take what comes. You would have got booked somewhere else. But... You know, niggas kind of manipulated you, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's because you got another bad, another situation going on with 
That's how I feel. If I see you pop up on a card or on the next card, I'll already know it'll be confirmed right there. What we need to learn has already been confirmed. But I think it's some bullshit. I'm not gonna lie. I definitely think it's a crock of bullshit where a nigga will know that they done paid this nigga to not battle somewhere. K Sean comes out, they done paid this nigga to not battle somewhere. And then, cause K Sean's on one of my expert opinions saying the whole story. He was paid 15,000, he was gonna get a bad game, they told him not to do it, they didn't even have a name for him. Why do all of these niggas have to lie? They not. <laughs> I know for a fact y'all love these niggas, man, but these niggas do fuck shit too, bro. Like it is what it is. Like just call it down the middle. These niggas do fuck shit. Period. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but I would respect it more if they just came out and was like, yo, this is our game, this is how we playing it. But they don't do that. They do the shit behind the scenes, behind the scenes, behind the scenes, calling niggas, telling niggas, yo, if you say this, you do that, you do this, you do that, yada, yada, yada. I used to get them calls, oh, if you do this, we got a plan, we gonna do this, we gonna do that. They used to threaten niggas all the time. They do that shit. They do it. I know they do. I know, they do everything except pay. Well, maybe with them niggas, they pay them niggas, but not me. But they'll threaten you, but wasn't paying you. I had to get clean the fuck away from them niggas. They'll twist it and tell you anything they want, but I know for a fact that them niggas been doing dirty work for about 10 years now. It's nasty work. So y'all had to clean that shit up, man. And karma don't miss an address. So when you fuck niggas over and y'all do all type of bullshit like this, and have Hollow out there lying, looking crazy as a motherfucker, what kind of success do you think is gonna be long-term sustained? If we keep even in honest, y'all niggas ain't had a good event all year. All year. What event was good? I'll wait. There was none. There's nothing that I need to talk about. End of the year, I talk about the top five events. Unless they got something that's coming real soon that's going to be a heat rock, I got nothing to say about them. At all. And it's not hate. Niggas have a hot event, I'll say. Summer Madness, uh, what was that, the one with Chess and Easy? That shit was crazy. But that's probably one of the last real joints that I'm like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Joints be dropping now, niggas don't even recap them. <laughs> niggas, niggas be like, uh. Uh, uh, uninspired. So that's what I'm saying. You gotta do good to people. You like if you got artists that are on y'all shit, y'all got them artists. Y'all keep them artists. But if they want to go somewhere and y'all don't want them to go, all this paying them not to do it, that shit look crazy, man. Cause y'all fell out with Hollow. Hollow expressed the fact that he was paid to not battle somewhere. Y'all don't want the truth to be the truth, so you try to buy a lie. This is crazy. It's fire too. Niggas don't want the truth to be the truth, so they gotta buy a lie. Or subscribe to a lie or push a lie out there. They'll rather lie. <laughs> These niggas will rather lie and have hollow lie than delete it. <laughs> the nigga hollow deleted his lies. <laughs> hollow, you a wild nigga, son. Shout out to the motherfucker you are, man. They were saying some shit about you. Yeah, thank you for clarifying. Whatever they said, I don't know. Some lie that they said. Program lie. You know you nigga be lying. This is the post was deleted by the author. <laughs> so the backup, they backed you up with the bullshit, but the original lie got deleted. Hollow. Hollow. I expect better from you than this. <laughs> Don't let no niggas make you lie, man. Seriously, do not do that shit. That shit is nasty work, my nigga. You got caught out here. You said in your own battle, 15K, that was your top battle. I just got paid twice than that to not battle. That's what you said. I got the bar wrong. It was 30K, 30K, that's what you made versus take. That was a top battle. You just said I got paid more than that to not battle. You said this shit after the tweet. And then you double back and try to say, oh, no, 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 I was playing all of that wasn't true. I fuck with you, Hollow, but you, got, you, you, you can't be letting niggas use you like that. Come on, bro. I was like, Damn, not my boy Don Lennon and Don. That's my dog too. I fuck with Hollow Man, but in this instance, you take a L, you are takes the L, and et cetera, et cetera. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people gonna be like, oh no, 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 y'all saying this, it's a narrative, it's a narrative. This ain't no fucking narrative. A narrative is trying to get you to believe some shit that isn't true. This is true. Let's go through the points one more time so we got all of this shit straight. Truth, Hollow the Dawn came out, said you all paid him. 26,000 not to battle murder move Sent out the, 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 the fucking contract and all this other shit. That was one. That's one thing that happened We're not saying no lies here. That happened Number two He came back out What he two was he came back out had a battle and said in his own fucking battle 30k to not battle I just got that da, 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 I got paid double that to not battle. That's the second truth, right? The third truth 
is that he went on Twitter and said that he was never paid to not do this, da 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 whatever the case may be. I hate da 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 When niggas say da 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 they lying. But he went online and said that he was not paid to he was not paid to not battle Mook. It was half of the money for this bullshit, whatever the case may be. That's the truth. That's the third truth that happened. And the fourth truth that happened is he deleted that tweet once niggas started getting on his ass. So there's four truths right there. And the fifth one is you all jumped up under his comments with that bullshit, but I don't really count that because that's a lie too. Um, so yeah, I don't understand. You did all of this. And then the fifth truth is you called ARP at 732 this morning. All five of those are true, my nigga. And the sixth is that all the battle rappers I seen, Verb and Goods, all these niggas already got blogs out already about this shit. I waited, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, yo, I, was, I had some things to take care of earlier, so I chill, I get it done later. They still gonna watch anyway. I mean, <laughs> it's coming. But, you know, if that's the way they wanna go about doing business, great for them, you know what I'm saying? It, it's a really crummy business model that if we can't be number one, we just gonna undercut everybody else who's trying to do their thing, because I never see anybody else doing this shit to them, but it is what it is. Um, a lot of niggas get their hands dirty, a lot of lies being told, <laughs> it is just, it is sick, man. If that, if that's what you gotta do to be down, I'm good, I wanna be down with these niggas. Shout out to y'all, go on.